Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create team projects in Team Foundation uh, Server using Visual Studio. So let's go in the server or the client where you have the Visual Studio. Here's my uh, server where I have installed Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire it up. I'm connected with Team Foundation Server. If you wanted to know, actually, if you don't know how to uh, connect to Team Foundation Server, you can click on Team and Team Project Collection setting and connect to Team Foundation Server. You need to click on that and connect to your Team Foundation Server. But um, uh, again, um, uh, if you have, uh, I have default collection. Most of the um, organization have just one default collection and it works pretty well for them. But if you have um, more collections uh, other than default collection and you wanted to create a team project in that particular collection, you need to connect with that uh, collection. So there are a couple of ways that you could uh, actually uh, create a team project. Uh, you can click right here and go to my projects and my team and click on new team project or you can click on this little bit icon right here and it'll open up select a team project or create a team project. If you click on select team project it'll open up the uh, uh, collection. I have two collection. One is default collection and other is finance project related co collection. Wherever you want to create your team project you need to select that collection but I'm going to go ahead and use the default collection. I'm going to go ahead and create a team project for that. So we're going to go ahead and create a team project. You need to give the name of the team project. Make sure that uh, the name is um, something that uh, follow your naming convention in your organization so I'm gonna go ahead tech brothers underscore team this is um, and description is demo when I click next and uh, here are the templates that you there are a couple templates available in team foundation server uh, right here is um, uh, uh, MSF for agile software development and other is CMMI process uh, improvement. If your project is going to follow the agile, agile methodology, then you need to create agile uh, software development um, uh, 2013.4 or if, you, if you're just uh, going to do, it, it depends on your uh, work items and your project nature. Again, if you're not using agile methodology, then you should go ahead and create. Uh, the CMMI process improvement. In my case, I'm going to use CMMI process improvement, so we're going to click uh, on that and click next. Here's the version controls. There are a couple version controls in Visual Studio 2013 Update 4. Uh, th this um, Team Foundation Server version control and GIT. GIT shipped with uh, Visual Studio 2013. Um, update for but if you're using Visual Studio uh, 2012 uh, then you need to actually install separately the GIT uh, version control now let me uh, quickly tell you the difference if you don't know which one you are going to use as far as uh, the version control uh, team foundation version control is a bit heavy uh, there are a lot of other differences I would recommend you to uh, go to Microsoft website and find the differences between Team Foundation version control and GIT. But uh, I will quickly tell you the overview. If you if you wanted to do have more control and do everything on your source machine on your um, on your uh, uh, local machine, then you should use GIT because it's um, not a heavy template and it will let you uh, do work offline and you can create all the branches merge compare everything without connecting to actually team foundation server so you can uh, have a lot more control um, and it's whether it's a small project or complicated project but uh, if you use team foundation version control then you have to be connected with uh, a team foundation server so these are just the a few big differences between these two uh, version control so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, team foundation server uh, team foundation version control for now so click next and we're finished with creating the um, project team so we're gonna go ahead and click finish so it's going to create a new team project for us
the team project and team project in our case let me close this one in our case it's the tech brothers on the screw team it's just for the demo purposes and you should follow the team project naming convention according to your organization hope this video helps